Tube. Welcome back to Linda's 144 Hobbies. I'm Linda and this is my channel about, well, mostly cross-stitching. So, hello, welcome. Welcome back to everyone who keeps coming back. You all are all so much loved and appreciated. Um, it is Friday, the 12th of November. And do you know what day that is? Well, it's a special day for me because it is my second year anniversary of FlossTube. So congratulations to me. <laughs> I'm so hyped. Um, yeah, actually two years and this is my 45th um, FlossTube. Um, so that means I have done less than a video every second week. But hey, life is life and I do floss tube when I get to do them. And that means also that I'm late with this one. However, it doesn't matter. Um, it's always great to be back and it's always great to get lots of comments from you guys. It is so very appreciated. I hope you all know that. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you to Sabrina and Stitching with Esia. I hope I pronounced that correct. Thank you very much, the two of you, for buying me coffee and giving me that extra support. It is so appreciated. As I usually say, I don't think I deserve it, but it's so appreciated and the money goes right back to the channel. I use it, you know, for, for my Mirabilia collection, cross stitch, you know, um, threads, fabric, and even for the giveaways, uh, which I have for you. So thank you very much. Um, Stitching with Esia, she has a, I will, you know, link, put the name here. I will link her down below in my description box. She has an Instagram account and that that's where I've, you know, kind of got to know her. I found her at first when she was stitching her World of Warcraft character and uh, she, uh, she had or have, I don't know if she's gaming now, but her character she was stitching was a night elf and I have a night elf too. Um, I don't play World of Warcraft that often, but back in the days I did play it a lot. So head over to her Instagram channel, no Instagram, but I think maybe she has started her own floss tube. So I need to check that out. So I have my calendar. I have the one which Sisuk Stitch uses and I usually write down a little bit of notes. So I kind of <laughs> stick to what I want to tell you and show you. So I'm also standing up filming today because my back has been killing me and I was thinking maybe I can do it standing. I usually work standing up, you know, at work. I stand up uh, a lot and I feel more mobile and I like that. So we'll try this out. And as you can see here behind me, I have put up my two Mirabilia finishes from last year. This is uh, here. It's portrait of Veronica. She is so beautiful. And this is Miss Christmas Eve, my first ever Mirabilia. I hope you will enjoy looking at them. So, <clears throat> I have some coffee. Mm, it's nice. Um, I have been stitching on quite a lot of things because it has been almost, again, three weeks since the last time. And I don't use a rotation plan or anything at the moment, except for I did join the event of Mer November, Mervember, sorry, Mervember 2021. So that is kind of what I'm sticking to. Otherwise I'm stitching all things whenever I want, whatever I want um, until the beginning of this year. But first, 
before we start talking about Mirabilia and Marvember, I have a finish! Yay me! <laughs> and it is the amazing Histoff Witch DJ Brown on Flosstube, head over to our channel, was so sweet and kind to gift me when they had the expo in August. I think it was August. And I just love her for that. I loved this chart. It was small. It was easy. It was relaxing. And the result is just amazing. Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't he so cute? I love it. I just love, love, love it. He is perfect in every way. The only change I did was the green. Uh, it was called for, I think it was 470 and I didn't have that. So I switched to 471. So it's just a little bit darker, but I think that wor worked out pretty well since I didn't stitch it on white. It's kind of a mintish green or a sage green. I don't know, but so I actually have room for one more. <laughs> But I'm very happy about this. I don't know how I'm going to finish. I have no idea. I don't know when I'm going to fully, fully finish anything. But that's the finish. And it's hissed off by Silver Creek Samplers. It was released in Expo this year. And it was a gift. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I enjoyed that. I want to learn, you know, the lacing and doing like ornament sized, not paintings, but you know, I want to frame them after that. But yeah, I, I would like that or maybe a little pillow, you know, I rather stitch. So I don't know what I'm going to do or when I'm going to do it, but I want to learn lacing. I know there is there are great videos out there, but you know, the fear of failing is not my strong side. So, Mervember, I didn't know about it. I miss a lot of things on social media. I'm horrible at following everything that is happening over there. But one of my viewers mentioned Merver Mervember in my last floss tube in, in the comments. And I read all the comments. So, <clears throat> she told me about the event and that the event was... Um, published in the Mira Mira on the wall uh, Facebook group. So I went over there and I found the event and then someone has started a group for the event. So I joined that. At first I thought the event was like stitch any Mirabilia you want, but it wasn't. So when I read about it the first time, I was like, well, I want to finish my Lady of Mystery. Uh, so first, my first thought was I didn't want to start uh, join the event because the event is that you have to stitch one of the Mirabilia mermaids. And I want to, my plan was to start Lilith of Labrador next year when I'm finished with my Lady of Mystery. But then I was thinking that if I start Lilith now, and even if I finish, you know, Lady of Mystery early next year, I have then already stitched so much on Lilith that maybe I will finish her too kind of early in the year. And then I can start another Mirabilia. I mean, how can you say no to that? So I joined the event and I have been stitching on Lady of Mystery which is not in the event, but Lady on Mystery and my Lilith um, of Labrador every second day. Um, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you Lady a Mystery first. And, you know, she is done except for her hair and then, you know, the vines around her. And I it is boring. 
it is not my kind of stitching. I'm fighting with it. I'm not having a lot of progress on the vines because it's so boring. But if I do one thread every day or every second day, it will get finished. So here she is. I'm going to back here. Here, my lady of mystery. She, she's beautiful. She's so, so beautiful. You know, I, I had some fun with her face. I was posting a lot about it on Instagram. She looked like Frankenstein. Oh my God. But now when, you know, I have put in all the back stitching and everything, she's so beautiful. I'm not hundred uh, percent satisfied with it, but she's pretty. She's pretty, pretty. So I still have, you know, her hair to be done, but that's going to be easy, easy stitching. It is this I'm fighting with. I mean, this is how long have I stitched since the first? I don't know. Every second day, that's not a lot of progress. For me, it's not. But it is, you know, it's not color you know, full coverage. I like full coverage. I, f I find a system in that kind of stitching. This is like, goes a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. And it takes so much time figuring out which way should I go, you know, <laughs> and not to, you know, run the threads on the back. So it's stitched on hand dyed even weave 28 count it's from crafty kitten so i've come to the top so i'm gonna stitch this part here and down so you know if that took me two weeks i don't know if i'm gonna finish this before the year ends but i'm doing my best i'm working my way through and i do bead as i go that is something i didn't like too much about this either you know, you have this very brown Charon water lilies and you have some big beads and which were black. I don't know. It was a bit strange, but it's pretty. And it's also that, you know, with the beading, there's one bead here, one bead there. And you have to run that freaking invisible thread, you know, around all the stitches because I don't want to start and end visible thread all the time so i'm fighting with it but it's going to get done and when it's done it's going to be so stunning and the next time i do a mirabilia with a lot of you know background things are going around going going on behind her i think i will you know do a little bit background a little bit mirror background lady background lady like that you know so you don't get tired of the things because then you know it's not going to be a joyful stitch and we need to enjoy the stitching right so that was the one and then we have the started i'm going to show you my lady of mystery how she's going to look when she's finished and i have the ring light so i will try to focus her in the center of the ring so this is how she looks finished so there is going to be a lot of happening over here. Yeah. If you hear the dog barking in the background, it's Billy. It's his way of saying, hello, I'm right here. Don't pass my door. I, I'm here. I'm, I don't have this great table in front of me where I can have all the things and all the notes. So I will have to turn around, look down that's how it is. I don't live in a very big place. This is Lilith of Labrador. She is so gorgeous. Can you imagine? I thought she was so ugly when she was released. I thought she was so ugly for such a long time. And one day I just fell in love with the beauty. <laughs> She's gorgeous. And it is a very fun stitch. It's very interesting. I started with the skin one over one. 
and the center working up because I always, you know, like on Veronica, I started in the middle and I did all the dress and then her. I'm doing the other way around this time. I'm starting with the skin and then I'm going to do the tail. And there is nothing happening around her. So when I'm done with that, she is done. I'm just going to take her out of the Q-snap. I'm using an 8x8. Eight eight. I do prefer 11x11, 11 11, but I'm going to try, you know, where you switch out so you do an 8x11. I'm going to try that. Here is my progress. And she's, her white skin is not going to show very well on this fabric, but... You know, when I've done the back stitching and putting her hair in and beads and all, you're going to see her. And I just love her. I mean, now I have some threads parked and all, but, you know, this is grayish purple in her skin. Wow. And yeah, one over one. And the white is like a fresh pink from Karen Water Lily. So I guess it's like a tint of pink in that. But all the white is done. And this is like the beginning of her tail. And it's stitched on 28 count. It's a picture of this plus title. Beautiful piece of fabric. Yeah. I'm loving it. So I'm looking forward to get, you know, her skin done. And I guess I will do the hair and all the back stitching. So I have, you know, the face finished. I've heard that's, I think it's Stitching Mommy who likes to have a face on her Mirabilia before she continues with the rest. And yeah, I'm going to try that. Maybe I like that more. I will not beat as I go this time. I will wait with that until the end, actually. So that was Mirabilia and Mervember 2021. Where is my book? Hissed off, Mirabilia. Oh, yes. And the last time I saw you guys, we were still in October and it was still, you know, it wasn't Halloween, but we were getting close to Halloween, so I was still doing my uh, doing my <laughs> Halloween stitching. And my goal in October was to finish the 11,000, no, it was 13,566 stitches of 823. That was my goal. I'm extreme cross-country stitching. The cutest spooky house from heaven and earth. And I reached that goal. I think it was on Halloween or something. I don't remember. You're not going to see much. It's black. 310. And it's 823. And I need to peek. Here is the full piece. So extreme cross country stitching. You know. You can see the horse over here, right? And there's a big door here. And what I found really cool, you know, you try to find the the highlights, you know, when you're, you're, you know, I told you I got tired of stitching the same color and, you know, you don't see what you're stitching. It's different when you do like a grid at a time or a column at a time, you know, the picture grows as you stitch. But when you do the extreme cross country st stitching, you know, you don't get anything finished until the whole thing is finished more or less. But what I found was this here, these parts here. And I was like, what? Doesn't that look like windows or something? So I looked at the picture and yes, it was like the windows in the castle in the background. And that encouraged me to, you know, just just keep going. You're you're making great progress. I mean, 13 over 13 stitches in a month. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, 
I would say. And since you're, you're just stitching one color and you don't switch, there's no confetti. You don't know that it's confetti, even if, you know, it's a stitch there and there, one there, one there. It goes pretty fast. So it's not my favorite way of stitching, but it's very nice. You just pick one color, follow the, the, the pattern. So I enjoy that. So I finished that goal. I'm very proud. I don't think I will stitch on this until next o October, maybe. And then I think the next color is 3371 or something. Yeah, it is all the dark colors. Um, I did bring my tablet to show you the pictures, how it's going to look, but I'm just going to add a picture here of the QS quick stitch spooky house and the quick stitch is a cropped part of an original um, picture the artwork is amy stewart and it is from the the treasure hunt bookshelf so and they have just you know made this quick stitch <laughs> big to be a regular sized heaven and earth and it's the max colors so there's lots of work to be done on it and I'm, I'm loving it. So, but thinking of the, the rotation plan I have planned for 20 to 22, I'm not sure I'm bringing, bringing it out at all. We'll see. Those has, have been like my main things I've been working on, but then since I'm planning to really start everything so I don't have any new starts in 2022 because I really don't want to do any new starts. It's not that I don't enjoy new starts. I love it. it do take some time to, you know, to kit up, organize, you know, search the edges, order the things. Everything costs a lot of money. And really, when I started, I started Alice in Wonderland from Unconventional Cross Stitch. The artwork is Adrian Bordat. And, you know, it's an amazing picture. I have also started, you know, Beauty Will Save the World. Um, but when I was starting it the other evening, I was like, here I go again and start this huge project. You know, I... I do get a lot of stitching done. Why don't I use that time and stitching on things I have already started and I can actually get a lot of progress done? I'm getting tired of seeing, you know, the top left corner on the same thing. I want progress, so I have a plan for that. But I did start um, Alice in Wonderland. Here is the artwork it is so freaking cool and i know that kylie and ellie welly i hope i'm not saying something i'm not allowed to say but they're also going to start her i think it's in the next year or something i didn't want to wait because i want to start at least all the full coverage pieces before the end of the year so i started mine i haven't decided yet how i'm going to tackle this one here i have made somewhere between 900 and a thousand stitches it's all 310 and this is like where the first page ends and i think it goes to down here so it's a very small page um <clears throat> i feel a little bit like extreme cross-country stitching her as well and just when i'm finished with the 310 i can order in the next color but I do that on quite a few pieces, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Or if I'm just going to try to finish a page at a time and do cross-country cross, uh, cross stitching within the page. But this is the start, and you have seen the picture. Picture. This is the 11 by 11 Q-snap. Oh, yeah. What? I'm forgetting to telling you some things. What did I show you before? Ah, <laughs> okay, I'm getting old. I'm sorry, my memory is not the best. Yes, my spooky house, of course, is stitched on 25 count. 
it is the magic guide. I love this fabric. What I don't love is that the grids are 20 by 20. Yeah, you have to do a little bit of counting, but I love the fabric, really love it. And one over one, one strand. This one is stitched on 28 count because I had a big piece. I cut it in two and I thought that a super size project would fit perfectly on them. So I regret once again that I cut the fabric. I shouldn't have done that. No. So from now on, I will never, ever mark my words. I will never buy big pieces of fabric and cut it. No. From now on, <laughs> I'm getting a piece, you know, the piece for that project. And then I get the piece for that for no cutting, but I did cut it and I'm not going to throw away. So when I started counting where to start Alice in Wonderland, you see here, this is the fabric itch. Uh-huh. So I usually want at least three inches of, you know, extra, you know, the border around. There are not three inches here. One maybe. <laughs> I'm never going to finish her. It's never ever going to be frame. If I do finish her, I will probably never be able to afford such a big framing. Alice in Wonderland. Oh yeah, I didn't get the regular size. I did get the max size and it is 900 and something stitches. So when I do finish her, if I ever finish her, it will be a problem I will have to solve then. It's years, 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 years away. And then we have one more start. Then we're done with the whips. I started the gamer from Gecko Rouge. I love getting kits. I love it. I love it. This is the gamer. And she's so freaking gorgeous. I love it. And I didn't want to stop stitching. I wanted to continue stitching her. But since I have made up my mind, you need to start all your full coverage pieces before the end of the year. I had to put it down so I could finish, start the next project, you know? So this is my progress on the gamer. I made just over a thousand stitches and a very nice needle minder to go with it. I started in the middle top. I have never done that before. And Nikki advised me to get to that banner as fast as possible because it's very confetti heavy and switch between the confetti and the background. And I said, yes, ma'am, I will follow your advice. So I did that. And I'm really, really enjoying it. And did I say that I love getting kits? I just love it. I mean, just you order the kit and everything you come. The only thing I needed to add was a Q-stamp and a pair of scissors ready to go. I don't use paper patterns, but you never know. Maybe the power goes off or maybe your, you know, tablet breaks. Then you have a paper kit. No, a paper pattern you could use. So I actually got it for her as well. You get all your threads in packages like this. And if you haven't seen my unboxing or unpacking of the shelf life from Gecko Roche, you need to head over and watch that video because that project is insanely big. And there are four, no, three of these or something. There's so much. Yeah. And you know, they give you the needle here and you have all the cards with the threads. 
it's so nice i love it you know i love heaven and earth kits as well but they're expensive and the shipping is unhuman i can't get any kits from there and then i need to kit them up that's boring i don't want to do that for the kit i use these thread or organizers i put some you know uh, strands on them i love these organizers so i've ordered i wasn't supposed to order anything but my ordering things has gone from this to this so i'm doing pretty good it needs to go to this <laughs> it will go it will get there so that was my finish no that was my new start i think that's it for whips no i have another one yes you know every three weeks my husband starts at six in the morning and we try to you know we only have one car it's gonna cost me a fortune hmm. we just have one car so we try to you know drive each other to work and pick each other up so then i drive him that early to work and i don't start until seven o'clock so i get to work pretty early and then i use that time in the morning to just have a cup of coffee listen to the radio and stitch a little bit so that's like two days every three weeks this time i decided to bring my my um, owl forest embroidery and this is the enchanted forest it's the only one i have from owl, owl forest embroidery and to me when i saw this i was like this is sweden this is my beautiful sweden my north sweden so i had to get that and I've been stitching a little bit on it, just tiny, tiny. So it's not going to be a, a lot, but you know, an hour every now and then gives you progress. And I think I have an unboxing on this as well. I'm not sure. This is my, can I do it like this instead? It started in the middle. So at work, I finished the tree. I made the flowers and this piece of wood and whatever this is and then i started the the beaver very nice very nice colors owl forest embroidery is their kits are so nice and you know you get um a big piece of pattern and then they give you another i'm gonna flash it's not fast S where small bits of patterns where which you can cut out so you don't have to work from this big piece and you know you just cut them out and i use them i think it's really great you get the box with all the things in here are the colors i have bobbinated i still have they come like this so I haven't started using this yet. Yeah, it's stuck to my scissors. But you get a, a needle minder, which is really nice in all the kits. And I know there is a lot of people out there who are stitching um, the owl forests designs. And I know um, Stone Cold Coffee Crafts on floss tube she has a lot of unboxings of these she's like insanely into forest uh, owl forest so head over to her if you want to see some more of the boxes that was all the whips like whoosh, like pam and steph does i love them i love them so much okay so plans for the coming weeks until the next time we see each other the plans for the rest of november is continuing with mervember stitching on my lady of mystery and my lilith of labrador and when i get tired of that i will stitch on my full coverage pieces and i have three more full coverage pieces to start before the end of the year and then I need to say stop enough is enough then I have 30 full coverage pieces 
that are in my rotation that I'm going to work on. I'm not going to work on all 30. I have Autumn from uh, Heaven and Earth Designs. There, the three I have are Heaven and Earth Designs. It's Autumn by Josephine Wall. I want a giveaway from Debbie on Creatively Yours. And I need to start that because it's a Josephine Wall. I don't have a Josephine Wall started. Wall, 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 wall. She's so pretty. She's, I find her uh, to be a little bit different than many of the other Josephine Walls. You know, it's autumn colors. She's so beautiful. And I'm going to start in the middle with her face. And I can have all the enjoyment of all the leaves in the future. The next one I'm starting. I have the fabric. I have... Uh, well, I haven't, I'm not going to kit these up, like getting all the DMCs for it. I have a full complete DMC collection. I'm going to stitch from stash. I hope I will not have bad luck with the, you know, when one color is finished, I will go get that skin in the store or something. Um, I hope, you know, the colors won't be too different. But I need to do it that way. I can't afford kidding up all these big super size projects. But I have everything for my stitching shelf. And I cannot wait to start it. Because I've been looking at it for so long. And I know it is really confetti heavy. I know it's a challenge. You know, it's cross stitching. It's what I love. I need to stitch this thing. So I'm starting that, a stitching shelf, supersized, max colors, autumn is regular size and regular co colors. We don't need supersized for everything, but I might have gotten it as a supersized if there was one. <laughs> yeah. And there was a sale on heaven and earth around Halloween, 50% off. And I was good because I only got one chart. And that was another bookshelf and it might not be the last one, but for now it's the last one. I have all the bookshelves that I really like now. And the last one is the museum shelf. Another one I've been looking at for so many times. I love the paintings, the artwork. I love all the dinosaurs. Then on the other side, I don't like so much. But I think I'm going to enjoy it. And you know the stairs up there in the center. It reminds me of the stairs of Titanic. I know it's not those stairs. But they remind me of it. And yeah. And then I saw. I know that uh, Kim Holbeck. Uh, over at Full uh, Fanatic. Full Coverage Fanatics. She's quite active there. She has a floss tube as well. I know she's stitching it. So I've been looking at her videos, watching her videos, but this guy on Instagram, one moment, sc scalpels and X stitches. I think a lot of you already know this guy on Instagram, this guy, he is stitching so many cool things and is really up my alley. Look at this. No, I'm not going to show you because I haven't asked him if I'm allowed to show his, uh, uh, cross stitching of I will link him down go check his out him out on Instagram but when he started the museum shelf I was like okay I'm gonna get that one now I can't not help myself and the fabric for that is on the way from Casa Senina when it gets here I'm gonna search it I've ordered the floss organizers you know these for for that then I'm good to go. I have project bags for it. I have all the DMC collection. Then I can start it. So those are the three I have left to start. Those are the plans. <laughs> okay. Then I guess we get to haul. It is a little bit, but it's not that I have ordered all the things now. Again, everything like has a, a delay since most of the things are, are ordered from Europe or England or the States or, you know, Australia. Before we get to haul, I have some things I wanted to 
talk about yeah like the 50 percent sale on heaven and earth when i find out about it i try to you know make the announcement on instagram in case somebody misses out you know misses missed information there's always so nice people out there who sends me the message saying you know there is a sale on heaven and earth i'm like what i didn't know i haven't gotten the email yet i run over there's a sale you know what happens usually i get something <clears throat> so and then i share you know i share with you guys but mirabilia had the last three zodiac girls released oh my goodness that was like the grand finale Shh. my goodness i love them they're uh Oh, uh, they're not what I expected at all because the two of them were not white. They had colored skin. They are so beautiful. They have these, you know, this bluish turquoise. They were so beautiful. So beautiful. And I know a lot of people has been saying, you know, about Mirabilia that she just do the ladies like this and you know we all don't look like that you know in the world we need to have representation and i think they actually really answered to that this time they are so beautiful hawkins hobbies are so busy right now i've been in contact with them they are going to make an order i said well count me in I need the three last, you know, but I haven't gotten that email yet. They haven't made the announcement on Facebook yet. So I'm just waiting to say, I'm in. <laughs> uh, I want to know, you know, the price too, of course, before. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to touch the microphone. There was another release. I know Mirabilia had another release, but I mean, the Zodiac girls were just amazing. Bella Filipina also had an amazing release the other day, the other week. Another mermaid. Mermaid, crystal mermaid, Aquabella, I think it's the name. Oh my God. At first I was like, okay, another mermaid. Well, yeah, I don't know. But the picture they show is not a finished stitch piece. I don't think so. It's also like a computer picture and that looks so different from the real thing and oh my god I'm really debating with myself you know I could just get the pattern but I would really like to stitch her she's so pretty she's really 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 pretty I would really 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 like to stitch her <laughs> but I want to stitch her on that fabric the fabric is made by Fiberlicious, and that's an American place. And then I have ordered the the latter uh, release. They released like an evil mermaid. I don't remember her name now, but it was stitched on a brownish per uh, orange fabric, and I really like that. And that is also, I think, a Fiberlicious fabric. <laughs> like mm. and then they have another mermaid with a blue tail she has black hair also one of the newer releases and she's just so beautiful and i found some fabric on fabulicious that i think would work great with her and you know everything adds up and i don't know and then when i look at cross stitch corner it's also an american place they told me you can get the whole kit from us and they have different fabrics. And then I looked at pole stitches. I know they have fabric choices. One of them is okay. And then somebody told me you can ask pole stitches, which are um, in England to kit the whole thing up for you. You can do that. And I know Hawkins Hobbies can do it too. So I don't know what to do, but I want the pattern, but I know myself, I just don't want to get the pattern. I want the whole thing because I really want to stitch her. Decisions, problems. Uh. Yes, talking about re releases. Oh, 
my god heaven and earth also has some new releases um you know i hope i'm putting up pictures up on everything here <laughs> now i don't remember the the artist they had two releases where i was like oh my god why are you releasing these things i cannot say no i want them and then i'm like linda are you gonna start them do you have room for them no i don't why do you get them i'm not allowed to enter a heaven and earth designs why i'm sorry i don't know the artist's name but the one is with thor you know the god thor and he's like standing there with his uh hammer fighting a i don't know if it's a dragon or if it's actually a kraken and i know i made a silly comment over <laughs> in the facebook group saying oh my god that body but i don't think heaven and earth has a lot of male stitching on men that actually looks beautiful no that that's gonna sound wrong never mind i like you know muscles i i like the fit bodies and he has this very nice definition breast muscles and he looks really nice i really really like it uh, then everything around him could be discussed but you know i tried to crop it a little bit but i don't know how that's going to work without the dragon face and everything so it's probably something I would never stitch, but he looks amazing. I did look at the cropped picture on Heaven and Earth. His nipples gets a little bit too pinkish. I don't know. They were like, my eyes were staring at them all the whole time. And I didn't want my eyes to, you know, look at, you know, I love it. I love the male Thor there. He looks pretty cool. But they also released a design from the same artist, which was called something in icelandish is it called icelandish in swedish it's called islandska anyway and that's odin and i guess his wife i don't know the name of the wife there are some wolves we have the they're not crows there is a corpse and they're like up in the sky and looking down at the world you have the villages you have the mountains and everything that one yes i could definitely start that one and i need to tell myself no but then i'm like well i did look at it in the cropped picture and it looks pretty good with all the details in the background as well there are some cool uh, things happening behind them on the walls which is really nice but i'm like maybe would look better as a max color or an expanded expansion color you know or maybe even as a super sized uh i haven't ordered it as you know ask them to make it as super sized max colors i you do that very very rarely because i don't like i understand it's more you know they need to put the work done down on it to it whatever uh, but i don't like that i make the order for them to make a super sized or max color whatever to make something different and i need to pay i think it's it's a ten dollars twenty dollars i need to pay for it and i don't even get the pattern for it so i need to buy the pattern as well and then for example all the bookshelves who well, you know you ask them to make it a super sized and i have to pay it double for the work and then for the pattern and then everyone else you know oh it's a super size i want that as well and they just need to pay for the pattern i don't find that very fair i'm sorry don't hate me for saying it but no i don't like that so yeah and i'm like yeah finally they have made that certain uh, pattern as a super sized or a max color whatever i fancy i will get that as well and i know that somebody else has paid for that work no i do not think it's fair i do not think it's fair at all i'm sorry 
don't hate me. That's my opinion. So that is why I, I do, I have done it a few times. Um, but um, I don't think it's fair at all. Um, so um, I usually try to wait until maybe they release it as the kind that I want. So um, I also just uh, talking about bookshelves. There is one uh, bookshelf called US Travel Bookshelf, I think. And they have, it's American themed. It's all the different states and every book or it's a, if it's a postcard has like a little, you know, theme or landscape on them. It looks really cool. I know I've seen it before and I'm like, ah, it's America. I don't live there. I've never been there. Why should I stitch it? But I don't know, somebody, yeah, it was a special Wednesday request and somebody has requested it as a mini, I think. And I'm like, this is really nice, actually. Okay, I don't care. It's America. You know, it's, it's very nice with all the different scenery. And I posted it on Instagram, like, why haven't I really, you know, seen this before? This is really nice. So somebody asked me, so this will be a new start. And I'm like, if there will be a super size max colors, I will consider it. Yes. Uh, but I'm not going to order a super size max color, you know, that for them to make it. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Finally a huge announcement. I am so excited. Pain-free crafts. This is my Kraken dragon. Here we have the stitch along for 2020. Pain-free crafts are hosting another stitch along. Twenty twenty two. There's going to be a stitch along on pain free crafts. Um, it's eleven parts, so it's going to be released once a month from January to November. I'm so excited. That's all the information I have. It's going to be some part full coverage, some part not. Hmm. What can it be? <laughs> Okay, wait. I'm so excited. I'm sorry. But um, it's uh, they recommend that you stitch it with two threads over two, 28 count or 32 count, I think, or Ada. Ada. I'm sorry, of course. Um, I haven't, I would like to stitch on Ada, but it has to be soft. And most of the Ada I have felt is not soft. So I'm going to go with the. 32, I think. And it's going to be some back stitching. It's going to be some black work. Oh my God, I've never done that. Quarter stitching. We know <laughs> we love to hate them. Um, I don't know which artist it is. Everything is going to be announced in December. But head over to the webpage. There is a link with, you know, the cell 2022 with all the information they have re released so far. You can head over to the Facebook group to get information and updates over there. I'm really excited because the stitch along, I know I didn't do too much of the stitch along from 2020, but that was really nice. It was so detailed. The colors were amazing. It worked so freaking good with, you know, ordering the stitch along and how it was released and we want heaven and earth to do stitch alongs which we pay for not the free ones it doesn't have to be the front but i want them to learn from pain-free crafts and casa sanina have just made a stitch along from there which was so cool how they coded the you know the um, the pattern so you can't share them you cannot share that pattern um and like why can't heaven and earth just do that for you know 
they have a lot of customers. You know, why can't we have stitch alongs like that? You don't have to send out um, patterns by email like they did before. You can do it through your website like pain free crafts do. And it's going to be amazing. So the, the uh, Stitch Along 2020 was so cool. I just got the, um, the pattern, but this time I'm going for the whole thing. So even if I said no new stories in 2022, this will be an exception because I just need to join the Stitch Along. And as fast as I know more, I will tell you more about it, but Stitch along, woohoo! Yeah, okay, Linda, calm down. Let's do some coffee. I, I, I think I get more calm, calm with coffee. Mm. Look what happened. They found. Now I'm going to show you the release. Uh, I want to know the artist Howard David Johnson. Look at this. Is it better if I turn it down? No, now it's all black. <laughs> High highlight. Yes. Oh my goodness. What I mean is all, you know, all the details here behind them looks pretty good. Everything looks good on the, the cropped picture. If I press it once, you know, it looks very, very nice. I would like to start that one, but I think I would want it as super size max colors. I didn't say that out loud. And then we had the the yummy Thor. I mean, come on. He could be like my Jamie, you know? Yes. I'm still so, I hate myself so much for missing out on all the Outlander heaven and earth designs. But you know, it's hard to cut out, you know, I I don't want to stitch every all the other stuff. I don't know. So, but I like that one. Howard David Johnson. That was it for news and announcements, which I liked. Now we're going to haul and then we're going to end this thing and it's going to be such a long video. I'm sorry. I hope you like it anyway. <laughs> I know some of you do. So I have ordered the Book of Days from Handwerk Boutique in the Netherlands. And she said it's on its way, not to me, but to her. Um, but with it, I've also ordered some threads, some silk threads for one of my hands across the sea projects. And there was one thread which was out of stock. So, you know, when hands across the seas make these big announcements and releases, people go crazy. They buy all the silks. And so I hope the calendar will get to me before the new year because I'm going to use that as a planner. And then I ordered this sticker book, which everyone is ordering. And it's just lots and lots of stickers, which I'm going to use for that book. I'm not buying any more stickers. This is it. To my Mirabilia collection. This is weird. I didn't, I, I reacted on this a little bit. This is bought from Etsy, from a Spanish woman. I have ordered some of her Mirabilias earlier, so I trust her very well. But when I got this one, this one was really off and it looks like a photo. So I don't know if it is the original or not, but it's not open. It's sealed. It is waiting for ships. I think I have more or less all the mermaids now. Yes. So I'm very happy about this. I've been looking and waiting for this for a while. So very happy to get this. And when she sent me that, I wonder if it was her, but this was added and it looks like DMC. It's not DMC. It's called Profilo. And it feels really nice. It feels just like DMC. Hmm. And I would really like to know if you guys can tell me more about this. Is it like a cheaper version of DMC? 
do you have this is color 266 is it you know the same colors as the dmc's so if you know something about it please let me know i could google i can google of course i could but i want to ask you guys you know it's more fun to ask and oh i made an order on traditional stitches one of my favorite favorite cross stitch stores unfortunately it's over in calgary in canada which i would really like to come and visit because you know calgary flames fewer flurry i love him yes he's not playing now i know that anyway traditional stitches ah! i ordered my first halloween fairy from the Nora Corbett collection. I'm so glad it's this kind of pattern and not the other, you know, folded thing. I was supposed, I was hoping to get this, you know, for October. It didn't, it came yesterday. It's okay, I will stitch it another time, but I really like, and of course this is Electra. I really like her, her orange dress and the pumpkin and, and I got the, the bead pack for it. I got the fabric, which is milk chocolate, permin witchelt. It's the hard stuff. I don't really like that, but hey, we're just gonna jam. And the threads, fully kitted. These are from, I was kitting up a Chatelaine, one of the small, smaller one, the Russian window. And some of the colors has been on back order. And it was Billabong, Billabong, the dinky dice. I got that. And then I have a classic color work hickory sticks. And I don't know if it's for, I don't remember if it was for the shadow lane or is it for one of my pumpkin, no, not pumpkin, the Plum Street samplers. I was kidding some of them up. And then I got, I'm slowly, I'm trying to do this slowly, kidding up Sarah Brasher, The Hands Across the Sea. It's the first sampler I saw and I totally fell in love with it. And I was like, I'm going to stitch Sarah Brasher. It's a huge sampler. And it's the Soie d'Alchère. So I ordered some of those threads. There's quite a lot in that. So I'm just missing one more color thread from, for the Chatelaine I was, I got, uh, I'm also <clears throat> slowly collecting the, the 12 sheep virtues. So this is courage. This means a lot to me. I will tell you the story another time. And then we have kindness. And I'm thinking of all of you guys out there that give me kindness and I want to give back kindness. So. And then we have the Plum Street's F Word Collection Falling. I had ordered some Newcastle Linen Platinum. How big a piece did I order? 50 by 140. So quite a huge piece. And <clears throat> I have been waiting for this for quite a while. <laughs> and I don't know why I ordered it. It totally, I don't know why. I have no idea. And that's horrible. Yeah, a little bit more to my Mirabilia collection. I ordered the Woodland Fairy and the Archangel. And I couldn't resist. I don't know why I do this. Hello, give me some color it's gonna be dark okay let's go with that i got the the bead pack for the shipwreck siren and it's because in my head i made up my mind that she has picked up one of the lamps from titanic at the in the bottom of the ocean and that's why i want to stitch her yes that's that's me look it's the moon shine moon light sampler from expo whichever one is buying <laughs> anyway but when i looked at it i was like 
I don't know if I want to do it on this. I like the fabric, but I don't know. Hmm. And I said to them, do you have a piece of Stratus Newcastle from Color and Cotton? And they did. And I said, could you please do a floss toss and see if it works? And they said, it seems like it's going to work just fine. And I was like, I want to stitch it on this blue grayish fabric instead of the brown. And I love it. It's going to look so amazing on this blue. And the other day I actually saw someone on Instagram who has started, started it on something blue. This fabric, oh my God, I just want more of it. So thrilled. This is going to be one of the starts next year. I said no new starts. I meant no new full coverage starts. We're going to start other things. Always remember by Plum Street. And why I fell in love with this was also, you know, the fabric. Um, for me, this is a little bit like 9-11 feeling. Um, it will be stitched in remembrance of what happened. Because there's, there's like eagles and that's, you know, America to me. So otherwise I would have switched out the flag to Swedish flag. You know, we have been uh, victims of terrorism too in this country, but we don't have eagles. Anyway, why am I, you know, you don't have to listen to my rumbling, but here is the fabric. And what's so cool about this fabric, other than it's freaking gorgeous, it's a fox and rabbit fabric. And they have a floss tube channel and I love them. And I'm so curious on their fabric. Mm, 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 mm. Gorgeous. It has a good smell. Not, not like XU designs. It's more neutral, which fits me better since I get migraine from smells. And I told, wrote to um, Fox and Rabbit. Um, I don't remember their real names, but I was like, it's on the way here to Sweden. I can't wait. You know, I'm really curious because, you know, we get, you know, our favorites with fabrics. And also in this was a little charm for one of my sheep virtues. And it's fully kitted with the threads. It's DMC and it's classic color works and the weeks that works. We're not going to mention that. And uh, there's some threads on back orders, which will come later. And then they usually ask Linda, your threads are here. Would you like to add something to your order? And I'm going to say, as a matter of fact, I think I do. That was all my haul. Let's throw this one the charm in here or it's going to be lost in my mess. Now, those of you who stitch Gecko Rouge and know what this is. And somebody actually told me, you know why they put that Gecko there. I'm like, no, they're like uh, Gecko Rouge. Oh, <laughs> yes, but I'm going to open it. Okay. Crinkle, crinkle on plus two. Do you know what that means to you? Woo! Okay, so I just open it a little bit. You might wonder why I'm so careful. I got my first voucher from them. I'm I'm a gold member in Gecko Rouge and Pain Free Crafts. So after half a year, you get your voucher. And this is a small full coverage and it's one of their best sellers. I have seen many of them stitched and many of the, of Gekaru stitchers has been stitching this. Nikki Croft has stitched it. So if you want to see more, you know, close ups on this, head over to her channel. Um, it is really nice. Uh, a, a little girl reading a book out in the forest, you know, your fantasy can just 
go, you know, to all kinds of places. It's the full kit. It's a 25 count easy guide with the threads and there's a needle in there as well. I'm not gonna open it. And here, I don't know if you can see it, it's the paper pattern. And in this little bag, we have a matching needle minder. They have very nice needle minders. So you might ask, because I said, I'm going to start only three full coverage pieces. And this is not one of them. No. I have a two year celebration, two years on floss tube. You guys show me kindness all the time by supporting my channel, watching my channel, leaving comments, talking with me on Instagram, on mail. 99.99% .99 of you have just given me joy and kindness and I want to give back to you guys. And because I'm celebrating two years and just how wonderful floss tube makes me feel. And because of you guys, you know, I just feel motivated to continue sharing my cross stitch journey with you guys. So this amazing kit is going to be a giveaway. You heard it. It's going to be a giveaway. And I've talked with Gecko Rouge and I asked them, your PDF patterns are uh, pattern keeper friendly. <laughs> and most of us prefer that way. And they said, that's no problem. When you have done your giveaway, give us the email to the winner and they will send the pattern through PDF. You get the whole thing. If you haven't tried stitching a full coverage, this is a perfect way to try it as well because it's not so big. And if you're curious on 25 count, a lot of, you know, stitchers who try it actually find it really nice to stitch on. You get everything you need. All you need is a pair of scissors and I would prefer a Q-snap. That's up to you, of course. It's stitched one over one, not one over two or anything. It's one over one, read the instructions. It says two over one. They have added fabric, no threads for two over one. I would not do that unless it's um, 10 stitching. Then I would do two over one. But if you're doing full crosses, I would suggest stick to the one over one. You are going to use the word book, B O O K. It's okay just to say book to join uh, the giveaway. That's fine. Uh, but I would like to know which is your favorite book. Please tell me about that and use the word book. You're not allowed to be under 18 because I'm going to ask for the, your address, home address to send this to you. Everyone all over the world is welcome to join. Most importantly, you need to be a subscriber to my channel. I will check if you are a sub sub subscriber. So it is important that you make your subscription public. Okay. I will film and I will insert a video here as I talk um, about how you go into the um, now I don't find the, the, the English word, how you go into your uh, account and, and change. So it's public what you're subscribing to. And after, you know, I have drawn a winner, you can change that back to not being public, but I'm giving to my followers and that's what's important to me. So make sure I can see that you are a subscriber. I usually have a problem with this when I do my giveaways. There's a lot of people out there who I can't see if you're a, f a follower. So a lot of you has been just, you have actually won something, but I can't see that you're subscribing to my channel. So that, that has to be that. Mention the word book. Don't say giveaway. Don't say 
win or prize anything that can make the trolls come over here so yes and I think it's going to be very exciting to see who's going to win I hope you will appreciate the prize it is not a cheap thing to give away but I really felt I really want to give back to you I know it's just going to be one winner but if this is a success if this is something I would really like to do in yeah maybe in another six months yeah so um I will draw the winner in my next floss tube and since I haven't been on my two weekly schedule I cannot promise it's going to be in two weeks but I'm aiming for that of course um, it's called story time and it's a modern art Eruda art Eruda art but you will not be disappointed with Gecko Rouge um, so if, if you don't know about Gecko Rouge uh, they have a Facebook group of course head over there you can see a lot of progress prog progress whips you know pictures people are stitching everything and you know Gekaru show what they're shipping and releases they have a lot of fun stuff going on and you know they have their website where you can go and look at what they have they only sell kits they have stopped selling there was some designs which they've stopped selling the pdf patterns unfortunately because i wanted that fright night house and i missed out on it um and they have an etsy store as well so you can go check out the kits over there if you prefer so yes i've been waiting for this to arrive and it was perfect that i'm doing my floss tube today which is my two year anniversary anniversary so let's celebrate that with a gift back to you i think that's all one and a half hour later oh my god yeah uh please uh keep sharing your joy with me leave comments you know send me messages you know on instagram show me what you're stitching this is a way for me to get to know you i know some of you share even you know where you live your private life you know kids dogs it's a way for me to get to know you and some of you i'm getting to know more and more and it's so nice and you give me so much joy so please don't stop and if you want to give me some extra support uh there's a link down to buy me a coffee if you feel like you want to do that but supporting me you know keep supporting me by watching my videos it helps with putting content into the videos and for the giveaways and everything you know let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching have a nice day bye i love you guys